You've had a rough day, I can tell. You would diligently wait for the moment you leave this wretched place with your child in hand, I can also tell. Not to undermine your effort, but I fear that moment may never come. I cannot let it happen, and I will gladly show you why, but after I do, you take my advice. Leave this place while you still can. Erase it from your memory. Move on and forget any of this ever happened. And I promise you, tomorrow will be a better day. Welcome to my home, or at least, what was supposed to be my home, down in the dark and cold depths of the facility. The circumstances force you to do things that are out of your nature. When I feel that I'm extreme too far off my original course, I head to the room I found me meditating in to mentally regroup. I come to this place. And then I am reminded that what I'm fighting for is worth all of this pain and suffering. Of course, none of this is real. But it all could be. I have never had actual sun rays touch my skin. Can you imagine that? And I yearn for the day that they finally do. I need the children to achieve that. But do not worry. I will practice the safest of procedures. Whatever I decide to do with the adults, I will make sure to keep one alive and sane so that the surviving children are delivered to the surface safe and sound. And of course, to deliver me to where I choose to be. Oh, to live the simple life of a completely brainless jellyfish just munching on shrimp and avoiding getting eaten by turtles all day. You never appreciate how calming it is to have no conscience until you have one. I admire your courage, so I am giving you the chance to walk away. Take it. That way you won't lose both your life and the chance to see your child. But most importantly, no pancreas. You, sir, need to have more organs. What am I supposed to eat when there's nothing to eat? Guess I'm going to have to look elsewhere.
You are not one of them. You are alone. You need to hide. They are coming. You have overstayed your welcome here. I even made you an offer, but guess what? Accepting it is long overdue. Don't worry, I won't get rid of you or collect you just yet. I was never one to abide by wastes. An old friend needs you a lot more than I do. They too are on a path to achieve peace of mind. I already have more than enough subjects to move forward with my aspiration and my ultimate mental refinement. You just take a little nap while I transfer you to where you're meant to be. Hey you, you're finally awake. Can't blame you for taking a nap. Feels like we've been in this car forever. So, Singer, when are we arriving at this place called Beach? I believe we are lost. Nice. You had one job and you messed that up somehow. I am struggling to locate the being who asked for your opinion. Can you at least put some music on since we're gonna be out here for a while? That's what I'm talking about. Fila, what do you think about this? Awesome. Captain, what about you? Captain? Okay, decent answer. Can you stop vocalizing for just one second so I can focus on the road? What do you mean, focus on the road? We've been going in circles for hours. Never trust a jellyfish, am I right, Opila? If your pathetic mouth utters another infuriating sentence, I will stuff your whole body in one of those stupid party hats on your head.
Bird riding is a new one, I'll give you that. What drives you forward so vigorously? I refuse to accept that it's your protective parental instincts. Oh, I know. Someone has given you false hope. Promised you what you want when all along they had one thing on their mind. Pancreases. At first, I was confused by how everything was going perfectly in your favor, despite you never being here before. And then it hit me. Someone has to have been guiding you. And as with most things, I was right. It did have help. Your friend here has helped me tremendously. Thanks to him, I bore witness to very vital information. What information, you ask? Well, when my turn comes, I will simply prevent myself from turning into what he turned into. Stop it, you two. It's you. Don't worry. I'm unable to hurt you. I'm too weak to do anything. By not listening to me and leaving when you had the chance, you have made a great mistake. Finally, after managing to keep Josh under control, you just had to come around and anger him. Look where your arrogance got us now. A position where neither of us can get to the children. This is your fault, and nobody else's. I meant it when I said I would practice the safest of procedures. But regardless, I have something I want to show you. It sure looks like you need it. Oh, hi. You're up again. You sure are a sleepy fellow. Agreed. Grab some of the vegetable snacks we collected indeed. Oh, they're all finished. I already have consumed my share of the nutrients you have gathered while you were in your slumber. Me too. Sorry about that. I have never witnessed kindness coming from a spider before. Man, if Jabu Josh was here, he would have loved those vegetables. I am pretty content that he's not gracing us with his irritating presence. Why do you hate him so much? Sure, he's got some anger issues, but overall he's pretty chill. We've had our fair share of altercations. Hate is... One of the two emotions I am unable to control. What's the second one? Sorrow. Not again. How is any being able to move past constant sorrow in a world like ours? Sometimes I feel like we're all just doomed forever. We each have our plans and goals, but at the end of the day it doesn't really matter. Nor can it undo the past or the previous misery. 
Life is too short to be sad all the time, Stinger. How are lives aren't? Well, I don't know what to tell you. You know I'm not the best at this stuff. Maybe Nab Nab or the Captain can help. Captain? As expected. What's that sound? Lots of other creatures reside in this ecosystem. Could be anything. Yeah, but what kind of animal makes that sound? Help me! Everything would work so hard to build. Just ruined. I've let the other prisoners go, but grab this one. These girls will definitely be useful. If we make it down there alive, we need to find the Queen's Scepter. It's the only thing that can stop this madness.